as you can see, I've already opened up the auto Stata data set that we've used in previous videos. And what we're going to do here is demonstrate how to generate various descriptive statistics using Stata. The first thing we'll focus on is generating frequency distributions. The first thing we'll do is use the command tabulate. And now we specify a variable for which we want to generate a frequency distribution. And I'll just use the variable foreign at this point. We'll hit return. And there you see the frequency distribution with a percentage distribution and a cumulative percentage distribu distribution for the variable car type, domestic and foreign. And frequency distributions, of course, are going to be most useful for when we have categorical or nominal data. But sometimes we'll find they're useful for when we have quantitative data if there aren't too many categories for a given variable. Now, as we can see here, the data set contains information for the, whether or not the car is a domestic, that is manufactured in the U.S., or is a foreign car. At times, we may want to know what the value we see for each of those variables. And what Stata has done for us already, it has already created value labels, domestic and foreign. But let's take a look at how we can go about identifying, then, the values, the numeric values that were entered in to create the categories domestic and foreign. Again, I'll type in tabulate and a variable name foreign, and then comma, and whenever we generate uh, Stata output where we use a comma, the comma separates the command and variable list from various options. So without adding in any options, the default is to just generate the information we see in the table before us. But at this point, what I want to do is turn off the labels, or at least display what the actual numeric values are for each of the categories we see here. So I'll type in comma and no label. Hit return, and there we see car type has a value of 0 for domestic and a value of 1 for foreign. Now we can also generate frequency distributions for variables that are, of course, have more than two uh, categories. Uh, and even for quantitative variables that only have a few categories. For example, I'll type in tabulate MPG for miles per gallon and hit return. And there you see the number of categories we see uh, for the data set in terms of mile per, per gallon. Two cars here only achieved 12 miles per gallon or one achieved 41 miles per gallon. Quite a range there in terms of fuel efficiency or fuel economy. Um, but if we don't have too many categories for a quantitative variable, uh, perhaps a frequency, frequency distribution will be worthwhile. To generate basic descriptive statistics, perhaps the easiest command to use is the summarize command, S-U-M-M-A-R-I-Z-E. Now, with the tabulate command, what we can do, and in most Stata commands, um, we can shorten the command name by referring to just the first three letters. So for the tabulate command, we could have typed in just TAB to generate the, the table. For the summarize command, we can type in just SUM, and that also will generate uh, the descriptive statistics for this particular um, command. I like to use the entire uh, name of the command for people who don't have much background in terms of Stata. So what we'll do is type in summarize and now I'll take a quantitative variable price and just hit return and there you see the default is to generate the number of observations, the mean standard deviation as well as the minimum and maximum values for this variable. We can generate more than one uh, a descriptive statistics for more than one variable at a time and I just am using again the summarize price command and now let's just add on this the variables MPG and also the variable weight with spaces in between and just hit enter and we see now a table is generated for 
the, the descriptive statistics for those three variables. Sometimes, though, we'll want more information than just what we see is presented by the default for the summarize command. For example, I'm going to go back and issue the summarize price command, and just like with the syntax for any stata command, what we'll see is a comma then separates the main part of the command from the options that we can specify. And in this case, I will just specify the option detail, and I'll hit return. Now you notice here we have far more information than just the mean, standard deviation, and minimum and maximum values. And so here we can generate a wider range of descriptive statistics here using the detail option. I'll go back again and use the detail option again. And we can generate the same detailed output for several variables at one time. Hit return. Now what it does is, as soon as I hit return, it executed the command down to the bottom of the output for that command. And I'll scroll back up to where we see now the command was generated. And we see then the detail output for the variable price first, then for the variable mileage, and then for the variable weight, which is the last variable in that variable list. So that's the way we can generate detailed information. But I think oftentimes what we'll see is we don't want all the output, at least I don't want all the information that the detail option for summarize command generates, but I may want more information than just what the default option for the summarize command generates. When that's the case, I find it easier to use the command tab stat. And for tab stat, I'll go back and I'll just use the variable price, comma, and now what we can do is actually specify which statistics we will generate. Now, if you happen to consult the Stata user manual, you'll see for the variable tab stat what the options are for the different descriptive statistics that Stata can generate with this command. The ones that I'll start off demonstrating, first of all, is going to be the sample size, which is simply n space. Then I'll type in the mean, display the mean, and also display the median. And what I do then is I enclose the list of statistics I want generated by uh, parentheses. Hit return, and notice there's no space between statistics in that first or that open parenthesis. Hit return, and there we see I've generated now the, um, uh, the median, which is reported as P50 or the 50th percentile for the variable price. I can also, though, generate information for measures of dispersion. So what I'll do here now is type in range, interquartile range, abbreviated with IQR for this command, also variance and SD for standard deviation. And so I'll hit return. And there you see that information is reported then the measures of dispersion for the variable price. Now sometimes what you'll find is you'll want to perhaps report a wider range of statistics and also for several variables at one time. So what? let me go back up and again take the tab stat price command, the most recent one that I created. And what I'll do is I'll add a few more variables to this variable list. And in this case, I'll add MPG, weight, and also length, four variables here. Now for the list of statistics I want generated, I want produced the sample size, the mean, the median, and by the way, we could also just enter in P50 for the median. Also, the interquartile range, perhaps the standard deviation, the minimum value for our data, the maximum value for each variable, as well as the skewness and also the kurtosis. Now, you notice that when 
Stata ran out of space for the line that we have here for entering in the command. It just wraps it around to the next line. Now, if we wanted to reduce the amount of typing that we add in uh, to this given command, I could have shortened skewness to just skew or kurtosis to just kurt, K-U-R-T. But I like to type those out. Let me go ahead and just hit the enter key. And now you see a list of the a wide range of descriptive statistics that I'll find most useful for getting a sense of how these variables are distributed across several variables at one time. And this tab stat output is so much more, con, uh, more compact than what we saw using the detailed option. But I'm only generating the statistics that I really want to see. So this is how we can use Stata to generate frequency distributions and also other descriptive statistics such as measures of central tendency, measures of dispersion, and skewness and kurtosis.